Hi students, I'm going to walk you through the rubric and show you some student examples for the symbolic sketchbook cover drawing. <laughs> Long title. All right, so here we are in our Google Classroom, Classwork tab. You can either click over on here, sketchbook cover design. We could scroll down underneath um, sketchbook challenges. But everything you need to know is going to be right here, that red push pin under the um, project file. So first, I'm going to show you where the rubric is and kind of talk through a few points in the rubric that you absolutely need to pay attention to. And then we'll look at a few student examples. So you can see here, it lists every single assignment for this um, project right here. It says assignments in order to complete for this unit. So make sure that you are doing them in order. Don't jump out of order. It will not make sense. Make sure you are following this in order one through five. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the rubric. Have it on. We'll just go ahead and click here. Everything is linked inside the project file. You do not need to go looking for anything anywhere. Always go back to that project file. So the main things I want to point out for this rubric is the three things listed underneath the criteria. The composition, I'll go ahead and scroll up so you can see everything really well. Um, the color pencil and micron pen application, and then the other things that you need to make sure you include in your design. So you need to make sure that you fill the entire space of the sketchbook cover. There should not be any blank space. Secondly, you need to make sure that you apply the color pencil and micron pen neatly and consistent, let's see, blah, 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 consistently with purpose. You need to have at least three different color pencil techniques in your drawing. You will learn a few techniques throughout the unit. Um, pull those three techniques from what you learn and put them on your drawing. Lastly, your drawing, any drawing that you do in here, needs to hold personal meaning or be related to you somehow. It's not going to be something you just find online and copy because it looks cute. It needs to come from you. I want to see what you draw and what you come up with, not someone online. So your design has to have at least three symbols. Um, it can have more than three symbols, but you want to make sure it's not too crowded for your composition. If you want to, you can look more closely at the rubric and the bullet points underneath each section. Effort and perseverance and craftsmanship are really important too. Um, so take a look at that. Again, it is in the project file. Going back to our project file, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and that's where you're going to be able to find previous student examples. I want you to take a look at them. These are one of the top graded pieces that I, I had last year. So you know kind of what type of quality I'm looking for. Um, there's different color pencil techniques in all of these and their symbols relate directly to the person. They're not, you cannot find anything like this online. They're unique um, and um, creatively designed. So take a look at those. If you have any questions, every single project file has an FAQ section right above student examples. So check here first if you have a question. Ask your neighbor if you can't find the answer in the FAQ. And if they still cannot give you an answer, then come to me and I will gladly help you out. Um, just always return to this project file. More than not, you're going to find your answers in here. Um, it's very detailed for that reason so that you can move at your own pace and create on your timeline. Okay. Um, please let me know how I can help you as you are creating these. And again, 
always turn back to the project file for whatever you are looking for.